All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss, and I wanted to talk to you guys today about some considerations that you should take and you should think about uh, when actually planting some fig trees. Um, today is actually September 17th, the day before the Staten Island Fig Fest, and I'm actually coming in here today. We're gonna do a little bit of a demonstration. Maybe that video is already out of actually planting some fig trees in the ground. Um, and we're gonna talk about really the whole method of doing that. But in this video, I wanted to talk about some of the really important points, some of the considerations again, especially about timing. Uh, right now, it is, as I said, September 17th. It is officially the fall. And well, it's not officially calendar wise, I don't think the fall, but um, certainly here in the Philadelphia area, a week ago, the fall weather started coming in. And that really, to me, is indicated by temperatures in the 80s, especially the lower 80s, consistently. And then the nighttime temperatures now are in the 50s, the 60s. Um, and so those lower temperatures, now that we're consistently getting cooler weather, is a great time to then start planting your perennials. Because temperatures above the 90s, when you're transplanting or planting things at those temperatures, it can be rather difficult to get things established and you're going to struggle not that it's a terrible idea with figs you can obviously do that you just have to irrigate them and stay a bit more on top of them um, but for the most part it's just a lot easier when those temperatures really start to dip down into the lower 80s and then from there it only really gets cooler right the daytime length actually starts to get shorter as well and so the whole idea of planting in the fall is that your trees then get to be a bit more established going into next spring because we still have about about 45 days left uh, before our first frost. Uh, probably a little less than that, but uh, that's 45 days or so that these trees can get their roots somewhat established into the ground. Um, they will probably continue to grow a little bit after those frosts, but for the most part, once those frost comes in and and the temperatures in the ground dip below 50 we're not really going to see any activity in terms of root development um, and then of course the trees are going to start to go dormant after those first couple frosts which usually is you know after about around thanksgiving uh the trees are probably like totally dormant at that point um so that's giving us some sort of edge going into the spring and that's why i like to plant in the fall i think it's actually the best time to plant um is the fall and that's pretty much for anything i think that's and that's also i think for the majority of us in the country you know um the only caveat here is planting in the fall when it comes to figs is that they're sensitive to the cold right so for those of us who are not very experienced um this newer uh person that I'm sort of helping out named Justin um, is really into figs and he um, wanted to plant his fig trees in the fall and I said Justin you know you could do that you can make the mistake by planting in the fall and learn about that and learn from your mistakes but I just think you're gonna end up probably killing your trees you're gonna end up making a mistake you don't want to have to do that when you're just at least first starting out you know get some trees established in the ground um, the right way and so by him being in a climate that's, you know, in a 7A or, or, or lower, so like a 6, a 5, a 4, even maybe a 7B, we just don't really want to be messing around with planting our trees in the fall. Now, I'm doing that because I'm going to protect all these trees. I've already committed myself to that. We have a, a huge load of wood chips that's coming either today, tomorrow, or the next day. Um, so I'm going to be taking those wood chips, putting them all over these beds, um, especially on these younger trees that we're trying to get established. We'll talk about the mulch layer in a second. But a lot of that is actually for winter protection and that I'm gonna plant the fig trees in the ground um, and then I'm going to add that mulch layer over top. And then in, this, in the fall, when the frosts come in, or excuse me, when I put these trees away for dormancy around Christmas time and I'm starting to protect them, well, I'm gonna bend these branches down all the way to the ground cover them with those wood chips and uh, then maybe even cover them with a tarp and then at that point they're all protected there's no damage that's going to happen I don't have to worry about 
any of this these problems that potentially occur during the winter any of these mistakes that are commonly made and so planting these fig trees in the fall it makes a lot more sense that way because again you get this 45 day advantage roughly maybe even two month advantage depending on the this the year that you do it and the timing that you do it uh of getting themselves established in the ground before the fall comes in before the winter comes in excuse me so that we're ready to go in the spring now the other thing that we could do and of course is not a terrible idea now it really i would say isn't really that far away from the fall so planting in the fall if i were to rank them is up here and then the spring is right below it it's not like planting in the spring is really like that much worse so again if you can protect them i think the fall is slightly better but if you're not going to protect them and you're not going to be willing to take this this risk in the winter the spring is not a bad time to plant either it's just that when we plant in the spring um you know we're not getting that huge advantage going into the spring we're then having to get ourselves established in the spring and unfortunately with the fig is that the fig tree doesn't really operate very well until the the soil temperatures are rather warm so you kind of in a way end up not really getting that huge of a benefit by planting in the spring the trees are almost in a sense like in full blast by this heat that comes in all of a sudden here at least where i live and so things can get rather intense for them rather quickly and so they don't really have a ton of time to dig themselves in and and so as a result a lot of the figs when you plant them in the spring the first year they don't grow all that much you know um these are some trees i, I put in the ground and there's a lot of fruits on them and that's partly why and they're also digging themselves in right they're getting themselves established and the other thing is like well we had a drought this year and so not having the soil moisture that we want is obviously going to affect these trees in a negative way and so there's a lot of caveats to all this but just in general um you know the spring is a great time the fall is a great time and those are kind of some of the considerations now it doesn't matter when we're going to plant this is probably one of the most important things if not the most important thing is really the mulch layer and i have really made the mistake especially because i'm trying here in this climate to make sure that these trees get as much heat as they possibly can as early as they can in the spring which is going to lead us into another consideration after this one here after the mulch layer that we talk about about actually the planting depth and so at least for now this mulch layer I've, I've not really added that mulch layer to these fig trees that i planted um again reason being is that the mulch layer in the spring cools down the soil for a longer period of time i would rather have them wake up quicker um, i'd rather have them get all those extra heat units in the soil as much as possible uh, but this is really applicable though in, in more of a sense to the more established trees these in-ground trees that are young we're just getting them planted we need to put that mulch layer down um, i think it's absolutely critical again i've made the mistake so many times and i would be so much better off having these trees planted in the ground with that mulch layer um, because again they're gonna they're just so much better off with first off that mulch layer adds a a whole lot more moisture that's available in the soil to the trees um, it also increases the health of the trees and the health of the soil and the whole soil life there's so many benefits to having this mulch layer that this whole area back here is basically like a food forest system and then i have you know the big shade trees above we got the lower leveled fruit trees down here we got bushes we got vines we've got ground covers we have so many different layers and different things in here and it's only really been made possible by putting down layers and layers and layers of mulch and a lot of it is also grown in the form of this comfrey here i always grow comfrey and have all these different plants every time i have a garden um some garden waste i throw it over here anytime i have you know little uh big logs if i have prunings of my trees this is from my peach tree last year that we did actually this march um if we have uh you know 
things for my ornamental grasses and stuff. So I just keep laying this stuff down over here. And over time, the soil has improved to an insane amount, an insane degree. And so these trees that were rather young and these bushes and these fruiting plants that were trying to really get themselves established, they've been able to get established, even in lots of shade here. Um, even in actually a very infertile soil that I've told the story many times before where when I was young, we had to build a berm that you can see right here uh, with my family. We basically, when I was very young, we, we went to like Home Depot and bought all this clay topsoil and just threw it on over here, created a high berm to put this fence in. And so the soil, I, I just know for a fact, is not very fertile. Nothing really grew well back here. Even the grass before I started back here didn't grow very well. I even decided to plant different things back here and nothing really grew well until I improved that soil. And over about three or so years of continuously adding more and more mulch, things improved and things got a lot better. And it's the same thing with these trees here, guys. Like, you're gonna see the same effects. This isn't really, um, I think, even a debatable thing. You're planting, you're planting perennials in the ground. You should be mulching them, like, 100% with something. Um, and that that mulch layer should probably be at least three inches thick So that's what we're doing today or soon is we're getting that that Delivery of wood chips and then the last thing that that kind of leads us into um, Is the planting depth because of course we want to Have a warmer soil and for the majority of us we want to have a warmer soil so um, even people, by the way, in Florida want to have this warmer soil. And people in Florida, not only are they getting this benefit of by planting the fig tree higher above grade, uh, that's going to also help with drainage. So those of us in very humid places, those of us in um, shorter season climates, in cooler climates, the Pacific Northwest, um, you know, places like along the coast of California that are very cool, um places north of me or even in the northeast in general places in the south that are very rainy and humid and wet we want to be planting our figs above grade now the opposite's true for those of us in the desert so we live in a very dry place instead you may actually want to plant your fig tree well below grade so for me at least i planted this fig today and i would have loved to have done this the right way with with hundreds of fig trees in the ground i'm not able to do this without really heavy machinery but if i had one fig tree and that was it i would be creating a mound that was at least two feet in height so if i come down here to the soil level and if i'm looking at grade this mound needs to be two feet above grade and then what i'm going to do is actually plant this tree here in the mound itself so if there if you can picture the mound as a volcano we're going to plant the tree in the volcano with a portion here of the stem buried below the top of the volcano now what i've done specifically with this tree because my plan is to cut off the whole top of this tree i need to rejuvenation prune this it's not very healthy there is some healthy growth coming in right here and so what I'm gonna do is make a cut, basically actually right here, I think, at the end of this season. And then I'm gonna leave this. And then I'm gonna bend this down a little bit further towards the ground and cover it with wood chips. And then this will then be plopped back up in the spring. And it will start then re-sprouting here from the base. And so I'll get some nice healthy growth. This is called rejuvenation pruning. This is absolutely critical as well for getting our young trees established whether that's in the ground whether that's in a container it doesn't matter i totally forgot about this but kind of doing a hard prune after you plant your fig tree in the ground is a great idea and i mean really coming down this is only like a foot here of growth um i sometimes even like to go lower but basically what we need to do with this volcano situation and this mound is plant a number of these nodes in the volcano underneath the soil if we can get this stuff buried underneath the soil level we'll never kill our tree we'll never lose our tree even if we just for whatever reason 
we have a bad year, we're unhealthy, whatever it is, maybe we're very busy. We can't come out here and actually do the protection in these colder climates that we want. It's still gonna come back. You're not gonna lose your tree that way. Um, just by planting some of those nodes below the soil. Um, so that's a critical thing. And then of course the opposite, it could be true with those of us in the desert. As I said, we could dig a hole that's really deep, even five foot deep. And then we can take a tree that's in a container like this Desert King I have over here. I'm gonna plant this today as well. Uh, we can take this Desert King that's basically about my height. It's almost, it's almost six feet tall at this point. And so I can plant this whole thing below the ground. So I'll dig a hole that's five feet in depth. Obviously that's the best case scenario. Go as low as you can and then plant this thing all the way at the bottom so that this entire stem is buried or most of the stem is buried with a little bit here at the top sticking out above grade. That tree is gonna get established super quick. Not only is it gonna get established super quick, but it's not gonna have these water issues in your desert climates that you guys have. And so you're gonna have a lot of success doing it like that. Um, so, you know, those are two opposite ends of the spectrum of what you could do depending on where you lived the planting depth is a huge thing whether it's above grade whether it's below grade above grade we get all the extra soil temperatures in the spring by having your root zone above grade it's easy to protect it by the way some people get really worried about that in the in the winter time we're throwing mulch over top you got to protect your mounds you got to insulate your mounds if you're going to be doing that um, I have experimented, by the way, with raised beds, planting figs in raised beds. And this Neruciola de Elba right here survived last year with no protection in this raised bed. So you can do it. I've done it before. Uh, I'm in a 7A. It, we saw a 6 degree Fahrenheit low this year. And the roots in the mounds or in the raised beds, they don't really take damage. Um, of course, if I live somewhere colder, I'd be really careful about mulching and insulating those mounds and raised bed. Now in the future, when I do this for real, my other, my new property is that I'm gonna create a berm with machinery. I'm just gonna create different rows of these figs and we're gonna have literally kind of a swale system set up where on top, all the layer of the mulch or the soil, excuse me, that we dug up, is then going to get put on top next to that swale on a mound and that mound's going to be well above grade and planting right into that mound is going to be a huge benefit uh, to me and in the future with my figs so um, of course i'm not really doing what i'm saying in a way but uh, if i only had one fig tree that's what i would do planting it well above grade um, and so those are the main considerations there when we're planting our figs, guys, in the ground. Doesn't matter where you live. We talked about the timing. We talked about the depth. We talked about the the mulch. Um, you can also, by the way, like I I showed you over there, I'm planting the fig tree like on an angle. You know, I don't even have to plant the tree straight up in the air. Um, we, you know, rejuvenation prunings are also a really critical thing. You guys should definitely look that up. Uh, we'll see you soon, all right? Hit that subscribe button and check out our blog, figboss.com.